Yo, what's up, y'all? Don't, don't, don't mind the hair. Please don't mind the hair. I told y'all in one of my previous videos, it's a mission. I got half of it done. So we're we're getting there. But this this is not even this is not even about that. This is not even about that. Um, if anything, it's 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 a good symbolization for what this video is about. Like I was just I I had to just pop over. I don't care how I look. I just had to pop open the camera and just get this down and talk because my mind is is there right now. I'm in the zone. I'm telling y'all right now, man, this is not get some popcorn. This is not not this is not get a snack. No. Get 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 your food. Get your lunch. Get your dinner. Get your meal. Because we are finna go in right now. We like, I'm telling you. What's happening right now is I told y'all I'm a very, and I repeat these things because a lot of people still is still discovering me over time. Damn, my hair is a mess. A lot of people still discovering me over time. And, and that's why I repeat some of these things because some people don't know it. Okay. I'm a very spiritual person, yo. I'm a very, 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 very spiritual person. Let's just leave it at that. And... Man. Okay, hair was bothering me just a little bit. Um I'm a very very spiritual person and I'm 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 going through it right now. I'm going through it. I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm having a spiritual it's it's just sometimes you're in the zone. You're in the zone, okay? I don't know who needs to hear this, but sometimes when you're in the zone, capture that mother capture it. Capture it, capture it, and that's what I'm doing right now. We we're going in. We're we're going in the black hole. I'm I'm going in the sugar black hole. This this there's I'm letting you know right now there's no rules to this. Because we're gonna go in. And when I say we're going in, my God in heaven, we're going in. So I'm starting to catch on to one thing, one thing I've learned over time is just trust my intuition. My intuition just, just it, it, it has a gift. Okay, I'm not saying everybody else is not. Everybody has a gift. Everybody has value. But I'm just speaking about what I've known about mine. And of course, I've known that sugar is my guy. He's my bias. I've, I've known this, but even watching myself. And I'm just watching how, like, even my my older, my first videos, I'm listening to myself, and it's 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 just starting to click. I'm like, no, 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 something deeper is happening here. Shout out to my dog Mike. This motherfucker looks like Drake. He looks just like Drake. It's so hilarious. Shout out to my dog Mike because he one day said something. That was just so amazing. I mean, literally, like, the heavens part, the clouds parted, the heavens opened, gave his ass a message, and he delivered it. And I've never heard this guy talk like this in my life. I've never heard him say such a thing. I've never even heard a human say such a thing. This dude said... Hey, I'm not going to give y'all the long story of what I said that made him say this. But this dude said, I basically was talking about how I started to realize something. And I was like, Mike, I got to give you credit because you saw that way before me, way before me. And again, I, I, I have a mind that pay attention to detail. So I, I, I noticed these things. By the way, if I look like shit, I literally just popped out of bed and popped open my camera. And I'm like, I got to talk about this. I have to talk about this. My mind is just there right now. So I'm capturing this. But what he said was, all right, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. What he said was, he said, it's funny how something is always subtle until it's not. And then when it's not, you start to see it everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my God. For the people in the back, I'm going to give you a quick example of what this means. It's like you're talking to somebody or you're whatever with somebody. I'm not even going to say talking to them. You're whatever with somebody and you know something is off. Okay. Humans do this. I don't know why humans do this, 
because I'm not like this, okay? I have a, a, a pretty good heart, pretty pure heart, and unfortunately, sometimes that gets taken advantage of. But humans do this. You're just whatever with somebody. You know something is off. It's your intuition. You may not know that, but it's your intuition. You know something is off. And one day, you finally, you finally somehow through some grace of God, wake up to it. And you're like, wait a minute, man. This person treats me like shit. This person is using me. This person is this. This person is that. Mind you, this thing that you had going with this person could have lasted, I don't know, anywhere from a month, two months, three months, even six months. And God forbid, God bless some people, even years. Okay. And one day you just get blessed with this intuition and you wake up to realize that this person is very bad for you. They're not treating you right. They're not respecting you. And you confront, and it's like, as soon as you give this person the slightest bit of trying to defend yourself, trying to protect yourself, trying to say, Hey, I ain't feeling, I ain't feeling this. As soon as you do that, it's like the fucking floodgates. It's like a video game. It's like poof. They laugh. Ha 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 ha. And then and and then it's like the floodgates open and you and that person are instantly enemies. Instantly enemies. And and it, and it, and it, and it, and, it, and it's like wow. You just start to realize that this is what was there the whole time. So if you never confronted this person, it it, it would have never God knows how long it would have went on. Because as soon as you confront this person, it's like, poof, the mask is gone and it's hell between you and that person. This is the point that I'm making. God, I'm sorry it took me this long to get into it, but this is the black hole. I promise you're going to love this. I'm having that same, it back to with a quote my dog Mike said, this is all subtle until it's not. And then when it's not, you see it everywhere. That's what the analogy with the person. I'm starting to realize this was sugar. I'm starting to realize this was sugar. And like, you know, it's it's like, I know that he's the guy. I know, I, 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 I know this. Like I tell you, I resonated with this guy from the beginning, but no, I'm starting to, it's like, I'm finally really starting to get it. And it's, and it's like I said, I'm starting to see it everywhere. My mind is open into this and I am all in. Like there is no reserves. I am all in. When I say sugar is that guy. And again, I'm speaking outside of the realm of, oh, we're just fans. Oh, that's just our bias. No, 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 no. This is deeper than that. This is what we're seeing with sugar right now is not normal. It's not normal. Look at the rate that this guy try to brighten this up a little bit. Whatever. Look at the rate that this guy is evolving. Okay. In the span of a couple albums, we literally seen this guy go from just dark and just this very non-approachable energy to pure liberation. And still evolving. I'm talking complete liberation. Who the fuck? Who? No human being does that in this short amount of time. This is not normal. And I'm telling you, it's, it's starting to click. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. This is not normal. Okay? And I've learned... My intuition have a way of picking winners. I talked about this in that video where I talked about him did three million a night for three nights, 10 mil in three days. That's crazy. That's just crazy. Now, I talked about my intuition have a way of picking winners. I told you how I did it with Bone Thugs and Harmony. The moment I heard them, I just knew this was a thing. And you could check any bill. Bill is like concert lineup. Any bill these days, especially with artists from that era, Bone is literally still one of the headliner acts. How the fuck did I know this at three years old? Same thing with The Legend of Zelda. I fell in love with that at three years old. Yes, I remember that. Three years old. How did I know that's a winner? I give you one more example. It's my intuition. I didn't know it then, but I know it now. I'll give you one more example. 
I'm a, I'm I'm um when I started to get introduced to basketball, I started to see basketball. Besides just some video games here, I ain't know nothing about the world of basketball. Nothing about the world of basketball. I said, hmm, you know, I'm a guy. I kind of like this sport. I guess I need to pick a favorite team. That's what people do. You know, like I told you, I used to live in Miami. People go hard for their Dolphins. Hey, you can't see my Dolphins, fam. You can't You can't see my heat. It's like, it's like people go hard for this. This is when I was still trying to be like everybody else, not realizing I'm nothing like everybody else. And I was like, I'm a guy. I like basketball. I got to pick a favorite team. Um, I'm going to just pick the Los Angeles Lakers, whoever they are. Had no idea what I was getting into. I knew nothing about basketball history and had no idea I was picking a championship franchise. No fucking. I live in Miami. Where is this coming from? I live in Miami. Where is this coming from? It's my intuition. It's just have a way of picking winners. Right hand to God. That's the true story. And I honestly did the same thing with the Denver Broncos. I live in Miami. I don't know shit about Denver. But what makes me pick them? It's my intuition. They have a way of picking winners. I'm, 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 I'm just, that's a right hand to God, a true story. But anyway, I'm going to talk all Yonggi from here on out. But this is the black hole. I told you, this is the black hole. This 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 video ain't, ain't for everybody. It ain't for normal people. This is the black hole, okay? And my intuition is doing it again with Yonggi. This is not normal. And it's figuring it out. It's putting the pieces together. The best way I can explain Yonggi or a good analogy I can explain him is... In a group of seven Justin Timberlakes, he is Justin Timberlake. If anybody know anything about NSYNC, you understand what I just said. In a group of seven Justin Timberlakes, he's Justin Timberlake. Mark my freaking words. I got love and respect for all of them, especially Jim. And his ass is on my radar now, too, because he's a mini Yongi. And I'm starting to figure that out. He's, I'm telling you, man, out of free, again, this is the black hole. This has no rules in it, okay? Y'all know I love them all. It's OT7. I got respect for them all. But I'm telling you, mark my freaking words, Sugar is going is, 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 is to stand out. He's going to have the most successful career. Nothing against everybody else. It's just his nature. It's who he is. This is destined. This is literally destined, okay? I understand the spiritual world a bit far more than the, the average person. I know that language. This is destiny. Think about it. It's, it's just literally who he is. It's like it's like how a dog lift a leg. The P is in their nature to do that. It is his nature, it is his nature. And I'm trying to tell y'all, this is this is not normal. Going back to my intuition, I have a way of picking nicknames for people. And the into my a nickname I recently gave Sugar, which I didn't even realize it, but I'm a damn sure stick with it now, is Master Yongi. Is Master Yongi. Where did that come from? That's my intuition doing that shit again. Master Yongi. Where the hell do I get that from? For one, of course, it sounds cool as hell, but no, 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 no. This guy is a master. This guy is a master. This may sound crazy now. You got to give it time because I think a little ahead where everything is at by my nature. I'm not trying to be different. I'm not trying to do this. It's just my nature. And I'm trying my God on his best to use this gift and turn it into something. So I'm speaking a little ahead. It's going to take some time for this to really make sense to a lot of people or the world. He's a master. Okay. I put him in the same category as, 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 as Bruce Lee. He's, he's, he's a master. Like I know it's some hard for maybe hard for some because we watched this guy grow up pretty much. We've watched this shit happen before our very eyes. So we're so attached to him. We're so close to him. Like, oh, Yungi, he's so cute. He take care of his maknees and shit like that. And so I know it's a little hard to see. Like, no, no, we are looking at a God. We are looking at a God. This is, I'm telling you, for those who don't understand, this is not normal. 
This is not normal. And, and, and it's just his nature. I give you a like boy with love video. Um, everybody had different sceneries, different discs, whatever. What does Yongi does in his scene? He's rapping on a what? A fucking piano. What? Who idea was that? Where does this even come from? It's his nature. It's all there. The clues are all there. That's why it's called destiny. Life give us clues. It's up to us to put the puzzle together. It's there the whole time. What was one of his first solos called? First Love. And what is he doing? He's playing the piano. And he's going nuts. Talking about how music was his first love. And that's what saved him. And he goes nuts. If you never heard BTS. It's labeled as a BTS song. But it's a sugar solo. If you never heard BTS First Love. Please go listen to it. Please go listen to it and thank me later. Just thank me later. The guy goes fucking nuts on this shit because it's his nature. I'm, 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 I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. And, and I'm going to use this opportunity to clear up something else that I once said. I think it was in my reaction to stay alive with Jean Cook and Sugar. The first line that I said. And I admit some of it was YouTube shock value. I, I admit some of it was YouTube shock value. But it was a lot of truth in it. I, I didn't articulate it best. And y'all fried me for this shit. Y'all filleted the hell out of me for this shit. The first line I said in this video is out of all the members of BTS, I say sugar is the most professional. And oh, y'all y'all fried me for that. Y'all fried. This is Stay Alive now. That was released a year or two ago. And I don't even remember exactly when. Y'all fried me for that. But here's, I, I, I got better clarity and articulation on it. Let me explain that a little bit. Let me explain that a little bit. When it became solo time, what, what, what happened with BTS? What happened? Okay, this one dropped a single. Okay, cool. That's fun. That's dope. That's cool. Thank you. This one dropped the single, did videos. Cool. That's fun. That's dope. Okay. This one dropped single video and did an album. Okay. 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 And that album was a huge reveal too. I'm talking about J-Hope for those that don't know. That album was a huge reveal. He completely revealed a complete different side of him. God bless him and God bless Big Hit, even though y'all give them a lot of flack. I'm telling you, for 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 the, the top, the head of the dragon, to give artists um, rights to art or their own art, artist integrity, eh, that's not normal. That's not normal. So you got to give them props for them doing that. You got to give them props for them doing that because from their perspective, that's taking a risk, okay? And they don't want to do that. They want to keep the money coming in. They want to keep the lights on, baby. We all want to keep the lights on. It's no different for billion-dollar companies. Okay, so, okay, yeah, this one did single album, uh, single video album. Cool, cool. What did Master Yongi do? What did Master Yongi do? I'm going to take a second for you to answer the question before I answer it for you. What did Master Yongi do? Single. Videos. Sa with an S. Let me take that back. Singles. Videos with an S. And an album. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope did that as too as well. What else did he do? Go on tour. Went on tour. I'm going to go on tour. I'm doing this whole thing. And not only that, the whole thing just ties into each other. These singles that he does now tied into singles that he did before when he was dropping uh, solo shit independently. This is not normal, folks. This is not normal, and that's what I'm talking about. He was like, oh, no, it's my time to strike. I'm going on tour. And mind you, 
He's a freaking genius, okay? To my understanding, because I see people chirping and saying that, yo, this dude could have sold out stadiums if he wanted to. To my understanding, that was just a practice run. He just wanted to get his feet wet. He just wanted to get the logistics right. I'm going to hit up these few major cities in the U.S., take this bitch overseas. We, we collecting data. Gary Vaynerchuk talk about this all the time. Collect data. Collect data. You execute first. Stop doing all this thinking. Execute first. Collect data. And then you execute even bigger off the data that you collected. Okay? Something else he probably did was, I don't know if he did this particularly. I can't say this. But this is a thing in the music industry, which I just happen to know a thing or two about by my nature. This is a thing where artists will hit up spots that's just under where they know they can do. Ed Sheeran has a cool interview where he talks about this. He does this um, just because they know it's guaranteed to pack. They know it's guaranteed to pack and it's going to give you a whole bunch of information and data, like I said, and it's also building up momentum. So for when the next time you hit the road, it's game over. It's game over. It's game over. You got all this energy, all these people talking about how the last one was and this one is going to be even bigger because now you know what you're doing. It's game over. I don't know if he did that strategy in particular, but that is a thing in music where a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of huge artists do that for those that don't know. So... So yeah, to 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 again, I'm I'm still standing strong on my statement. I'm just wording it a little differently now, respectfully. That's what I was talking about when I said he's the most professional. He wants it the most. I'm telling you. I promise you, the day Sugar win a Grammy, and he will. He no doubt fucking will, whether it's with BTS or it's off productions with something else. The day he win a Grammy, mark my words. Mark my words, mark my words. He's going to say, I've always wanted this. I It's just his nature. Y'all don't understand. This is why, I, I would imagine this is why, you know, other people like, yo, Youngie, you work so hard. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't work that hard. You know, I just, you know, no. because it's his nature. It's his nature. Eminem have a quote in one of his songs about this. See, what you're seeing is a genius at work, which to me isn't work, so it's easy to misinterpret it at first. Because when I speak, it's tongue-in-cheek. Let me say that one more time. See, what you're seeing is a genius at work, which to me isn't work, so it's easy to misinterpret it at first. That's Yongi. It's his nature this is his destiny so i'm 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 the floodgates is opening up it's like i'm figuring this out this guy is a god this is not normal this is not normal folks this is not and i'm all in i'm 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 i'm, I'm on board i'm on board i feel like to be honest with you i know spirit has chosen me to be a part of this team that's aware of this now and have this ability to, to speak and articulate thoughts, which again, I didn't realize was a gift. It took a long freaking time. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. That's talking. We just sitting down talking. There's no way that's a gift. Something else I like to say is, you know how people say, oh, just follow your passion. And I always like to say, don't, it's, 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 it's actually a trap door because it's, and I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're gonna hear it. It's hard to know what your passion is. Why? Because it's something that comes so easy to you. You would never in five million years think it's a, it's, 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 it's a, it's a skill or it's a talent or it's something that you can, you can, you can, you can prosper off of because it comes so easy to you. I literally just flew out of bed. These ideas was just rushing into my head. I know why it's rushing into my head. Honestly, that's communication from spirit. I'm going in. This is the black hole. We going in on this one. I ain't holding back. That's communication from spirit. And I popped open my phone and said, I need to talk. Some people watching this probably like, dog, that shit you're saying is so brilliant. How do you, da, 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 da. it's just my nature. 
It's my nature. I'm just in tune with this. I know how to articulate my thoughts. It's just my nature. I never in a million years thought that that was a thing, but I'm starting to figure it out. It's been here the whole time. You know how many females in particular, God bless y'all, have said, boy, you know, you got away with words. You know how many of y'all have told me that? Oh, a lot. Oh, a lot. And they say it in that particular way. You have a way with words. I, you hear it so much, you become numb to it. But I'm catching on to it now. Anyway, enough about me. I'm real. I know for a fact. Oh, oh, buckle up. If you haven't subscribed before, you better subscribe now. This is not just with Youngie. It's with BTS. Because BTS is a part of this destiny too. This is not normal. I'm figuring it out now. This And again, I'm figuring it out outside of the space of just being fans, of just having respect, of just having biases. The whole K-pop lure, I'm figuring it out. This is not normal what we are seeing. And I got that figured out and I am in. I am on board. Because, you know, I was just thinking, like, what, what, what the fuck is it about this guy to just captivate me like this? Like, what? What, what captivate me about his spirit? It's spirit. We ain't got no control over that shit. It's spirit. What's in us is already in us. It's just a game of us figuring it out. It's spirit. There's a reason why you like this food more than other. Where else does that come from? It's in us already. It's in our nature. So I got that figured out, man. What we are seeing with Yongi and BTS, but more specifically Yongi, is not normal. And it's going to take it. I may be sounding crazy right now, but I promise you this is going to stand the test of time. More people are going to catch on over time. Over time, more and more people are going to catch on. This is that guy. Give it time. He's, he's going he's gonna to be big. He's going to be big, like not just in music. This is not normal. This is not normal. This is on the same level of Beyonce type of shit, Bruce Lee type of shit, Kobe Bryant type of shit, Michael Jordan type of shit. This is not normal. Mark my freaking words and I am on board. I got that figured out. I was chosen to be a part of this team. So if you didn't subscribe now, ooh. Ooh, I'm not just promoting. That's not shameless promotion. I'm just saying. I got that shit figured out beyond. It's not for debate. It's, it's, it's been there the whole time. Just connecting the dots the whole time. Mark my words. Jimin is another one. Mark my words. Jimin is another one. Y'all know I got love and respect for them all. OT7 all day. But this is the black hole. And it's kind of no rules. And I'm going to really talk that shit. Man, that's I'm gonna just cut it right there. I think that's good enough. That captured the majority of what I wanted to say. Youngie's that guy, man. This is not normal. This is not normal. And I am. This is that. He's my muse. Okay, this guy is inspiring me, motivating me to work. He's the beacon. I leave you with one more. I leave you with one more gem before I get out of here. I recently heard a, an amazing, beautiful analogy to why these extremely successful and famous people are stars, are called stars. I don't know if this is the true reason to it, but it's damn near, it's the reason I'm going with and I'm sticking with and I love it. It's a beautiful one. It's because you know that saying that say, shoot for the stars, even if you don't, you land on the moon. I know the actual saying says, shoot for the moon, if you don't, you land on the stars. But if you logistically think about it, that makes no sense. Because the stars are actually further. So if you shoot for the stars, if you don't make the stars, you land on the moon. That actually makes more sense. But for some reason, it's more popular for people to say shoot for the moon. Whatever. In that vein, these people are called stars. So it's a beacon for you to aspire to. For you to look at. For you to shoot for. For you to aim for. For whatever reason, it was in this person's destiny to achieve that already. And if you are if you haven't achieved that yet, it's a beautiful beacon for you to shoot at. I think that's a beautiful fucking analogy for, for, for looking at stars the way... And it changed the way that you look at people who you admire. It's no longer just this, this, this fan thing and they're so much greater than you. It's like, no... You are a beacon, a star for me to aspire to.
You got it already. I give you that. I got nothing but love and respect for that. You figured out your puzzle already and you got it there. Yongi himself has said, see, this guy be saying some Proverbs type of shit. Yongi himself have once said the only difference between me and somebody else is I started more early. That's just his way of saying to be successful. All you got to do is put in the work. So all he's saying is the only reason why I'm here and you're not is because I started early. It's right in our face, yo. It's just connecting the dots. Like my dog Mike said, shout out to Mike. It's always subtle until it's not. And when it's not, you see it everywhere. You see it everywhere. This guy be saying some brilliant out of the pocket stuff. This is not normal. This is not normal. And I know I connect with this guy on a spiritual level. Because that type of affection with somebody is not normal. So it's in my destiny to be a part of this as well. I got that figured out. But I love that analogy about stars being beacons for us to aspire to, to aim to. That's beautiful. It's euphoria.